It's an important holy day for both the Christian and Jewish communities. It's one of the rare times when Good Friday and Passover fall on the same night. 27 First News reporter Amanda Smith takes a look at preparations around the area. At Catholic churches all across the area, people are preparing for Good Friday services. Good Friday is basically, you know, the crucifixion of Christ, and it is, um, you know, a very uh, spiritual and moving um, service. You know, we're building to uh, Christ's resurrection. At its heart, Good Friday remembers the death of Christ, and the tone of the celebrations are solemn. You have to have your Good Friday if you want your Easter Sunday. It's good because he came to earth, taking on our humanity and our sins, and in his death, won for us the victory. The Jewish community is celebrating another type of victory tonight. Passover is a celebration for liberty, for going out of slavery into liberty. The holiday is marked with a special meal and a reminder of mitzvah, or to do a good deed. The mitzvah is that on Passover night, you're not leaving anyone hungry. Whether if it's Jewish or non-Jew, if anyone is hungry and hungry and in need, you invite them over, you open your house, and you open your heart. In both faiths, the Holy Day is marked by spending time with family and remembering tradition. In Trumbull County, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.